the vibe right there. India Ari giving us the steady love from her most recent album, Worthy. I absolutely adore her and her music. But it was exactly 20 years ago tomorrow that India's debut album, Acoustic Soul, was released. It was a major hit, earning seven Grammy nominations and was certified double platinum. India joined me to look back on the album's success and the impact of its lead single video. How many times do you get back to people like, thank you for writing that album? Well, first of all, thank you for saying that. It's a blessing because in the music game, in the beginning, you're taught that it's all about like getting number one on Billboard and number one this and winning that. And after 20 years, I have learned the difference between an award and a reward. Mm. And my career has been very rewarding because my music is a part of people's lives. Brown skin, you know I love your brown skin. What is it about that album you think that resonated with so many people so quickly? I think it was just the right moment. I also think I personally was ready because I was raised a certain way. to so like really love my culture and love myself. And when it was time to make Acoustic Soul, I sang about everything I was raised on, but I also felt like it was a moment where I could really say it really loud. And that's what I did. <laughs> Oh, this is special in a much bigger way too. Like they're catching on. When video came out, the song video, not the average girl from your video. I thought that I was introducing myself to the world and I was preparing them to see someone who was different. And I thought that I needed to do that to make way for myself. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know until that song came out that I was singing a lot of women's stories. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh, even Oprah feels like this? We have anatomy of a song where we break down the lyrics, so we want to do that for video. Okay. I'm not the average girl from your video, and I ain't built like a supermodel, but I've learned to love myself unconditionally because I am a queen. For you, was that an easy journey? I come from like a cultural context where we were taught that our ancient roots connecting to Africa, even our roots as slaves in America, that it was all meant to be very proud of, that we should be proud of exactly who we are. So calling myself a queen really came out of that space, and that was not a hard journey. When I look in the mirror and the only one there is me, every freckle on my face is where it's supposed to be. Yeah. I've always felt that way about myself. Not because I think I am perfect, but because I think I am who I was born to be. I'm at peace with mm. me. Those lyrics are still true. When I tell you we were supposed to talk for 30 minutes, it went almost an hour. I was soaking up all of the gems, love this woman and her music. And tonight, India is hosting the virtual event, Songversation with India and Friends, to celebrate Acoustic Soul's 20th anniversary. So make sure you go get those tickets online. Scott.